Welcome to Cryptic Mystic Vault. In 1520, a new figure ascended to the Ottoman throne, Suleiman, soon to be known as the Magnificent. Born into a world of power and privilege, he was the only son of Sultan Selim the Grim, inheriting a vast empire that stretched from the gates of Vienna to the deserts of Arabia. The young Sultan's ascension marked the dawn of a new era, but it was not without its challenges. The empire, although vast, was riddled with internal strife and external threats loomed large. Yet Suleiman was not deterred, his vision was clear, his resolve unwavering. He saw an empire not just of territorial expansion but of cultural and intellectual growth. His reign was to be a golden age for the Ottomans, a time of reform, expansion and unprecedented prosperity. A reign of 46 years awaited him, filled with conquests, reforms and a cultural renaissance. Suleiman's reign is marked by significant military campaigns that expanded the borders of the Ottoman Empire. His leadership saw the empire stretch further than ever before, thanks to a series of strategic and decisive victories. The conquest of Belgrade, for instance, fortified the empire's hold in Europe, while the siege of Rhodes demonstrated Suleiman's naval prowess. His campaigns against the Safavids in Persia were a testament to his ability to wage war on multiple fronts without losing momentum or focus. But it was perhaps the Battle of Mohach that truly highlighted the Empire's military might. This marked the peak of Ottoman territorial expansion in Europe, sending a clear message to the rest of the world. The Ottoman Empire was not just a regional power, but a global one. Through these campaigns, Suleiman transformed the Ottoman Empire into an indomitable force. The Ottoman Empire reached its zenith, becoming a force to be reckoned with on the global stage. Suleiman's impact wasn't only in military conquest, he was also a notable lawgiver. Suleiman's reign marked a significant overhaul of the Ottoman legal system, a move that cemented his legacy as a just and fair ruler. His legal reforms were comprehensive, covering a wide range of issues from criminal law to public administration. His goal was to create a harmonious society, and he believed this could only be achieved through a legal system that was just and equitable. Suleiman introduced a set of laws known as the Kanun. These laws were designed to complement the Sharia, the religious laws of Islam, and were aimed at improving justice and administration within the empire. The canon covered a wide array of societal issues, including property rights, taxation and crime. They were instrumental in bringing about a more efficient and effective administrative system. His laws, known as the canon, brought about a new era of justice in the empire. Suleiman's reign was not just about conquests and laws, but also a golden age of culture and architecture. As a great patron of arts, Suleiman's court was filled with artists, scholars and intellectuals, breathing life into a cultural renaissance within the Ottoman Empire. His love for the arts wasn't just limited to paintings and literature, but extended into the realm of architecture. One of the most magnificent symbols of this artistic flourish is the Suleymaniye Mosque in Istanbul. This architectural marvel stands as a testament to Suleiman's vision, blending Islamic and Byzantine architectural elements into a harmonious whole. But his patronage wasn't limited to grand constructions. It was about nurturing talent, about providing a platform for the artists of the time to create and innovate. Through his patronage, he encouraged a cultural and artistic bloom that enriched the empire and the wider world. Suleiman's era saw the Ottoman Empire flourish culturally, leaving a lasting artistic and architectural legacy. Ooh, Suleiman's astuteness extended to economic policies and diplomatic relations. His reign marked a period of prosperity and expansive trade routes, with the Ottoman Empire reaching as far as the Far East and Europe. Suleiman's shrewd economic policies led to an influx of wealth, bolstering the empire's might and influence. But his acumen was not limited to economics. Suleiman was a master of diplomacy, establishing alliances and managing conflicts with European powers. His diplomatic prowess was such that the mere threat of Ottoman military intervention was enough to send ripples through European politics and society. Through these strategies, Suleiman not only consolidated the empire's power, but also broadened its cultural horizons, bringing in new ideas and influences. It was a delicate balance of power and diplomacy, wealth and warfare. In conclusion, Suleiman was not just a conqueror. 
He was a visionary leader who understood the intricacies of economic and diplomatic power. Through his strategic economic and diplomatic policies, Suleiman transformed the Ottoman Empire into a world power.